Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel. Peter, boom, 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 review stuff, and I am sitting outside of the beautiful Speedway gas station because I thought I would drive up to the Starbucks today instead of just sitting outside of the Starbucks where they all watch me from the window and see me recording outside, um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, some things before I go up and I do the video. So anyway, um, first things first, today we are going to review the Holly Jolly Latte. And um, I, I'm looking at the menu, and so what it is is, I found this on loveandmarriageblog.com. <laughs> love in the afternoon. <laughs> what was that movie, that TV show back in the day my grandma used to watch it, that Love in the Afternoon? Do you guys remember that show? Anyway, okay, um, they have on here, like, here is the Starbucks secret Christmas menu you've been waiting for, and they have, and I think this is from a couple years ago, because the first one is the Holly Jolly Latte, and what it is, what it is, <laughs> it says on there, is an eggnog chai latte with peppermint syrup. So I thought we would pick that, because I know for a fact that Josh is there today, so I thought it would be funny to do something that is chai driven. Chai Try, try it, don't try it, okay? That is chai driven because he loves the chai so much. But then I was sitting here and I was thinking to myself, I don't think they have the eggnog latte this year. So if they don't, we're gonna have to improvise and we're gonna have to come up with our own holly jolly latte. But that's totally fine, isn't it? We can, listen, we make our own rules. We live the way that we wanna live. Don't ever let anybody tell you how you should live your life, okay? You got one life, life is not a dress rehearsal have fun, okay? And speaking of which, I just want to say that my phone started blowing up, okay? Because my cousin Caroline, her son, who watches all my review videos, hey David, how are you? Huge shout out to David. Um, he went to the Starbucks that I drive through, and he met Josh, and apparently he felt like he was meeting a celebrity. So Josh was texting me, and then David was texting me, and it was hilarious, it was really cute. So anyway, um, people go in there to meet Josh now that he's been on my channel, I think that's so funny. And I have a little gift from him, so, for him. So if you don't know, I'm just gonna tell you. Okay, if you watch my vlog, I did a huge PO unboxing the other day, and Natalie from Canada, she specifically, well she sent so many nice things, but she specifically sent this cup for Josh, and it is a Starbucks cup straight from Canada. It says Canada on it, and oh, Canada, and then it says True North Strong and Free on it. So anyway, she uh, gave this to me to give to Josh, and it says, for Josh at Starbucks. So anyway, oh, oh my Lord, I'm throwing, throwing gifts and things, I'm so, I'm so mad that I didn't get one. Now, I don't need any more cups, okay? Let me just tell you, I have enough, and I recently decided that I don't know. I might buy some more, but I don't think I really need any more. Okay, here's Sally J, by the way. I'm 15, I like to kick! <laughs> okay, so um, Sally Joe would like to give a hint to the winner from two days ago, okay? So this is uh, the $25 Visa gift card from two days ago. <laughs> She's so excited. She wants to give a little hint <laughs> as to who the winner is from two days ago. <clears throat> you ready, Sally Joe? She said, I'm ready, okay. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> no more, Mr. Clean. So, Sally Jo would like to know, is there a huge Alice Cooper fan out there in the world? Are you a huge Alice Cooper fan? Sharon, Shannon Engel, because Shannon Engel, you just won the $25 Visa gift card. Shannon, I went to her Instagram, and she's like her, she is like the world's biggest Alice Cooper fan in the entire world, so I had to include that in the video. So, how, so Shannon, congratulations for winning the $25 Visa gift card of many. <laughs> there have been many. Um, email me at at Peter Review Stuff uh, at gmail.com, which is listed below. And I will tell you guys in a little bit how to win the next giveaway, which today will be a $25 Starbucks gift card. Okay, oh my hat. Don't wanna lose your hat, do you? Okay, now this is kinda turning into a little bit of a vlog here, cause we're driving over to the Starbucks in this fun See, Now you know what it's like if you're vlogging with me right here. This is a little uh, Christmas tree lot. You can go in here and buy your Christmas tree. Cantrell's tree remover, lawn removal. Oh, that's so cute in there, isn't it? But they're inflatable Santa Claus. He's, he don't look so good. He looks flat as a pancake. Why don't you blow that up? My Lord, you're a tree, a Christmas tree lot. Oh, now all my haters will be reaching out to Cantrell's Christmas tree lot and say, Peter Mon said in his video that you didn't blow up your Santa Claus. Well, go kick rocks then. Get over it, okay? Bunch of haters. <laughs> that he should blow up his Santa Claus, don't you think? I think that's right. How you gonna have a Santa Claus lot with a dead old Santa Claus just sitting up there in the middle of it, and he's just flopped over like this. 
like he's belly flopping on the water after he just took a dive. Listen, I know that feeling. <laughs> Fazoli smoky bacon pasta. I can't have that because I'm a vegetarian. I don't really love, but even, oh, now I'm in the dark. I mean, I'm always in the dark, but even when I was like a meat eater, and I hate the word meat, meaty, juicy. We won't go there, but anyway, panties. I hate all those words and don't use them in a sentence, please, Jesus. I'm just asking you, okay? Please, Jesus, do not use the words in a sentence, okay? And just, I don't even need to say more than that. But even when I was like a big meat eater, I didn't really love like bacon and stuff. And do y'all remember a couple years ago um, when Denny's came out and they said, like, or they said, on their menu, they had all of like the bacon and the milkshakes and stuff like that. Who wants bacon in a milkshake? And if you even answer yes in this comment section, below be gone before somebody drops the house on you that is not right okay I'm sorry there are some things that are not right in the world and one of them is bacon in anybody's kind of milkshake okay and that it would be like a peanut butter milkshake which first of all is gag and maggot who wants a peanut butter milkshake nobody okay and then a peanut butter milkshake and then it would be oh I asked David when I was coming through here I said what did you get and he said a peppermint mocha with a cheese danish I thought that was so sweet but anyway um <laughs> he so I think he brought his girlfriend here too. I wonder what she got. I should have asked him. I could I should have put them on the damn video was what I should have done. But anyway, okay, who wants a peanut butter milkshake? This guy is literally sitting like this, looking at the menu. Like he has no idea what he wants at Starbucks. Have you dude, have you seriously never been to Starbucks before in your entire life? He's like this. Um He'll probably just go. I'll have a s I'll have a tall uh pipe place. <laughs> reviews to do my lord <laughs> anyway do you remember that when denny's came out and then when denny's did it everybody had to do it. i love that moons over my hammy back in the day oh my god and i went in there like when i like we had i had been a vegetarian for a couple months i don't know but we went into denny's one night and i said can i have a moons over my hammy but i don't want any of the meat on it like none of the ham or anything you know and the waitress looked at me and she like i was like had just basically laid a turd on the table and she goes uh yeah, I did just say that, by the way. And she goes, so basically, you just want uh, bread, egg, and, ch and cheese? And I go, yeah, I want a moons over my hammy. Don't question me. Why is that so strange? I'm sorry? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can order whenever you're ready. Jake, it's Peter. Uh, oh, it's you. Oh, you're not, you didn't say your normal line. Well, because I was, had, didn't have the window down yet. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, okay, cool. Well, okay. Sorry, your eyes Hi, how are you? I'm um, great, how are you? Good. Can I get a venti iced coffee with one equal and I have my yes, own sir. cup? Okay, yes. and then I also need another drink. What's your other drink? Do you guys have, um, do you guys have the eggnog latte this year? Yes, we do. Oh, do you, oh, wait, 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 an eggnog chai latte, do you know what that is? Um, I do know what that is, but there's no, like, it's not like an actual thing we have on the menu. I can just add chai to your eggnog. Okay, well, can, this is what I need. I need a, let's just do a tall, because I'm not going to drink this whole thing. No, okay. Okay, I need a eggnog chai light latte with peppermint syrup. Cool, and then do you want espresso shots in there, or no? Oh, no, 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 no. No? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tall chai tea latte, and I'm just going to make that with eggnog. Oh, that sounds great. And then can right, you put and then the, what did you say? And then peppermint syrup. Peppermint. Do you just want? Ooh, do you just want one pump? Sure. Whatever you think. Cool. I would say zero pumps, but you want one pump. Well, then let's just. Would it be easier to make it a grande for you? Oh no, I just think peppermint wouldn't be good to make on chai. But okay, that's well, totally on you, and I can put one pump. I would just put the least amount of pumps as possible. Uh, Jacob, even do a fourth Jacob, pump. this is the Holly Jolly Latte, so I'm oh, following directions. Very Holly. It sounds <laughs> very jolly. Very jolly. Oh my God, Josh, I have a present for you. Okay. Oh, I can't wait. I'll okay. bring you out of the window then. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jake. Cool. Bye. Bye. <laughs> on the first day of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a day. <laughs> do you ever just forget? I was like, do you ever just forget that you're filming videos? <laughs> like as if you guys are just sitting there and all the time you're just constantly filming videos in a car talking to nobody. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, okay, it's my turn up. <laughs> the Pike Place left. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Good. Can I also get a $25 gift card? Yeah, just one. Yeah, just one. Actually, no, 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 no. You know what? I need two. You need two? Yeah, because yeah, I need two. Because I need one from yesterday. You want these cute red ones with the Those are 
are perfect. Let's go get one of them. Don't you love just looking at the side of me? It's my, it's my best side. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Now I have all the gift cards that Here's I need. Your card. Can I get a receipt, please, as well? Yes, Thank you. Card. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm really good. Okay, I have. Oh. And here is your gift. And this is from Natalie from Canada. She sent this specifically for you. Here, I'll put you on. Thank you, Natalie from Canada. She specifically sent it for you. That is so sweet. Should I open it right Yeah, you should open it. It's cool. Shut up. So it's a Starbucks cup just from Canada. It says Canada on it. Jacob is going to love this. He loved Canada. He went and he fell in love. He we're going to go on one of our... This is so Isn't that so sweet? And... Yeah. My cousin's son, my nephew, came in here today. Yes, he, he, sure just, did. he texted me, he was like, I feel like I met a celebrity. He looked starstruck. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. He was very nice though. See, people love you. Isn't it nice to be loved? Like, you're such a you're such a good person, Josh, that you put out such great energy in the world. I know he's like, you're basically a celebrity. I was like, that's really nice. I don't feel like it. But Just wait till we do the 12 days of chai. I mean. I feel like you're threatening people. <laughs> With what? Don't <laughs> say. <laughs> don't, oh, because it's the 12, 12 days, days of chai. chai. Yeah. No. Yeah. Don't chai it. Don't and, chai this at home. <laughs> goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Can I just tell you that that Starbucks overall, and not just Josh, and not just Evan, and not just Jacob, and not just the other Jacob or Tanner, all those people that work in there, that is the best. But they have the best customer service, literally, of any Starbucks in the world. I mean, they are like so good. And I have to say, in all honesty, Starbucks by and large are typically really, really nice and friendly, you know? Okay. Are you guys ready? Oh my God! Here, make her kick. Because <laughs> she's 50. All right, so we're going to try this. This is the Holly Jolly Latte. And let me tell you the other drinks that are on here, okay? There is, here's the list. Okay, there's the Holly Jolly Latte, Christmas Cookie Frappuccino. Tell me which ones of these you would like me to uh, review. Peppermint Bark Frappuccino, Gingerbread Nog Frappuccino, White Chocolate Gingerbread Frappuccino, Candy Cane Frappuccino, Sugar Plum Fairy Latte, Raspberry Mocha Eggnog. And yeah, that's it. So anyway, you ready? Okay. We'll see what I think of this. Well, I will say this. This is totally different than anything I have ever had at Starbucks, true story. And at first I was like, okay, when the aftertaste kicks in, I'm not going to like it. <clears throat> but I think I really kind of like this. This is so weird. Yeah, it's totally Christmassy too because of the peppermint. And the eggnog. You guys, I really like this drink. I totally just kind of like Googled today Christmas secret menu drinks at Starbucks. And I thought I wouldn't like this. I want to make sure that I give you guys the right recipe. So it's a tall chai tea latte, one pump of peppermint syrup, add eggnog, okay? And I really like it. It's really enjoyable. I mean, this might be one of my favorite holiday drinks I have ever had, honestly. It's spicy because of the chai, and you can taste the eggnog, and you can definitely taste the peppermint, but it's not overkill. Oh my God, you guys, I really like this. I am like so pleasantly surprised. It kind of reminds me of something and I can't figure out what it reminds me of. I've literally never tasted a latte like this before. The combination works so well together. You guys, I'm straight up giving this a five out of five. I am like so impressed with this. I cannot believe this. 
The Holly Jolly Latte gets a five out of five. I'm like so blown away. I just really thought it just tastes like whatever, you know, when I came through here today. I don't know, it's weird. It's a mix of the, the flavors. Go try it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Okay, so here is the deal for the next, I bought two gift cards because I had to buy one for my gift card or my giveaway from yesterday. So, the giveaway for today, okay, which will be announced on Thursday, right? Yeah, it ends on Thursday and it'll be announced on Thursday. It's for a $25 gift card from Starbucks, okay? And here's what you have to do. You have to put in the comment section below your own holiday secret menu drink, okay? And if you just wanna win and you don't really care about being cute about it, all you have to do is like put, I don't know, coffee with a pump of eggnog or coffee with a pump of peppermint, okay? I'm making it real easy for you so that you don't get, I know because like when people get real over, you know, uptight about all the instructions and all that kind of stuff, okay? You can make it real simple. Your secret menu drink could literally be a bottle of water or tea or coffee. If you put water <clears throat> and you're the one that's picked, you're still gonna win, okay? I'm just gonna say. Not like Shannon Engel. No more Miss Nice But anyway, um, <laughs> oh, by the way, I just wanna say this, okay? Hold on a second. I have to go in here. I um, shouted out yesterday, Brie, okay? I wanna pull up her channel. She, um, so I shouted out Brie's channel yesterday on this channel. This is not a large channel. This is a small channel over here compared to, you know, the other things I've done. But I love this channel. I have so much fun over here. And you guys are so nice and so kind. When I shouted her channel out yesterday, she had something like 58 subscribers, you guys. Today she has 334. And I just want you to know that I think that that is the power of compassion and kindness. And that is something that we can do for people all the time. It takes very little to subscribe to somebody's channel, a smaller creator, to talk to other people about smaller creators, to tell your friends and family, hey, you should go watch Peter's channel because I watch it every day and it makes me laugh. And I'm gonna share it on Facebook and I'm gonna share it here. That makes us really, really happy. And that's why I did that yesterday. And I'm gonna do that a little bit more throughout the holiday season when I find people. But anyway, um, she was really excited about that. She emailed me and she thanked me for shouting her out. But it was you guys that subscribed and I just want to say thank you. I thought that was really, really nice. Um, so anyway, and keep on watching her channel because, you know, we're all trying. We're just all trying out there. So anyway, put your secret menu holiday drink in the comment section below. Like, you can make up your own. And if I pick one, I might pick one underneath there and go do it. So... Put some recipes underneath there, and um, and if you're like a barista too that has like a secret menu that drink that I've never reviewed, will you put that in the comment section below and be like, I'm a barista and here's a drink that you should try, and I'll shout you out and all that kind of stuff, and you know whatever. So anyway, let me. That's how you win the next give giveaway. So anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.